Hello brothers and sisters. I want to share with you guys a word <clears throat> that the Lord gave me concerning his name. Now, the reason that I'm sharing this message is because, you know, some people prefer to call him Yeshua and some people prefer to call him Jesus, but the Lord understands when you say those names, who you're talking to. He knows who's talking to him, you know, and, um, but there are some people who feel or who have said that you're only supposed to call him Yeshua or that maybe for some reason you shouldn't call him Yeshua, but they're just all these different takes from, from men of how you ought to call his name. And so, it reminds me of how Hezekiah got told all these messed up things by this, I think, I don't remember, but I think it was Sennacherib who was saying a whole lot of things to him that was really disrespectful and he was just blaspheming God. And I think he sent a note or a message to Hezekiah and Hezekiah took it and placed it before the Lord and pretty much said, well, these are the things that has occurred, sorry, that Sennacherib is saying against you, Lord, like, what's your response? And the Lord gave him his response. And so that's pretty much what I did, because, you know, obviously, I want to be as right with the Lord as I possibly can be. And I know that you guys who love him do, too. So I just presented what people have said to him, or yeah, that what people have said about his name to him. And I was just inquiring of him and saying, Lord, what do you say? So I'm going to read a, I'll read what I was saying to the Lord and the answers that the Lord gave me. And I'm sharing this because the answer that he gave me was actually really amazing and I wasn't expecting it. But yeah, he, he just totally went far beyond my expectations in the answer that he gave me. So... What I was doing, what I started out was just kind of quoting what other people have said. Uh, you know, the people who say, like, you're only supposed to call him Yeshua. And so, here's what I said. I said, quote, this is me saying what other people say, quote, His name is Yeshua. Uh, Jesus is the name of a false messiah. And then I quoted them to say, you need to call him by his real name. And so that was me quoting other people, and I said, What does my king, the Lord, whose name is above every other name, have to say about this? Because people have said a lot. And he said to me, My child, remember the Pharisees. They did as they were shown, and it was more about looking perfect than having their hearts right with me. Be not dismayed, my love. For you know your father and the shepherd. But do I know these who say such things? Surely they say the way to speak my name is as they say. But do they speak forth my other commands? Do they twist them? Beware, my love, of those who push perfection, but deny me in other ways. My love, I am not flattered with a correct pronunciation alone. What I am pleased with is where your heart is. To those that belong to me, I shall always hear when you call. I do have many names, my love, and I test the heart. Surely the correct pronunciation of my name will not exempt a man who has not served me. How do they not serve me? They look for how a man serves me and fall into every trap of the enemy. It is because they did not seek me, but listen to wandering voices. So many prefer this over seeking me. They put chains on my children who do seek me. Surely, I will remove those who serve me, while those who are more concerned with how to say my name in Hebrew, I will leave. My sheep know my voice, and a stranger they will not follow. And when he said that to me, as usual, when the Lord speaks to me, I feel his feeling as he's saying it. 
and it was just really a reality check and it was like eye-opening you know and so what he was making clear to me when he said this is that whether you call him Yeshua or Jesus you know he's not so much concerned with that as he is where your heart is you know because you can say his name correctly all you want to, but if your heart's not with him, then you will not be with him. And it just struck me when he said, but do I know these who say such things? Because it, it immediately reminded me of the verse that says, depart from me. I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. And many times in the gospel, Jesus says, like, I know my sheep and my sheep know me. So what is more important is, is not so much do you know how to pronounce his name in Hebrew as it is to know him as Lord and Savior and to follow him as such and that he knows you as his child, as his sheep. And so I responded to him. I said, just quoting what the Lord said. I said, they push perfection. They deny you. How do they deny you, my Lord? And he said, my child, they seek pleasure and praise for themselves. My little one, this is what the enemy has done and they have followed in his steps. Love the Lord with all your heart, strength, and spirit. Love your neighbor as yourself. Indeed, these sum up the law. Why do they put further burdens on my sheep? I say, where have I demanded that they call me in Hebrew? My darling, where in my word do I say that I will reject any who do not call my name in Hebrew? Do you see, my love? This is how they deny me. They cause strife to my sheep when I have said to tend to them. Indeed, I am the good shepherd and all who come to me will want not. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Indeed, I have made known the way to me, and I did not include to say my name in Hebrew. To those who say my name in Hebrew and Greek, I will surely answer them when they call out to me with all their hearts. And I was just like, wow, praise the Lord. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, just in case there are any of you who felt like Oh, now I have to call him this way or else, like, I'm displeasing the Lord. <laughs> Jesus gave me a pretty serious message. And he was clear that if you call out to him with all your heart, he will answer you whether you say Jesus or Yeshua. And let's remember, God actually has many names. You know, he, he, he's called it's, uh, well, Jesus especially we've seen a lot in the word he's called redeemer he's called lord of lords king of kings prince of peace um you know the great physician he has all kinds of names you know what i mean and if you call him by any of those names he'll answer you because he knows who you're talking to and he knows who his sheep are and his sheep know him so i just wanted to share that and I pray that will edify you. It definitely edified me. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.